Hello everyone, welcome to Brick Bus. My name's MJ and today we are looking at the Lego magazines for around October November time. So thank you very much to Immediate Media for sending these out to me. I've got a whole pile here guys, so I'm going to go through them briefly. We'll have a little look to see what's coming out soon in the next issues, like the free gifts, because we're all here for the free gifts, aren't we? Um, and then I'll bust open some of the packs and we'll have a look at it. So first up we've got the hidden side, which has got JB here, which is a really nice minifigure. And then we've got like a pizza ghost dude as well, so I'll open up them in a minute. We've got a city magazine with a really nice looking orange bike. We've got the Disney Princess magazine with, uh, that's Potts, Mrs. Potts and Chip. we got the Ninjago magazine with Richie, one of the villains from the Digiverse. And then we've got a slightly older costume, Nia here. Nia's my favourite, so that's, that's brilliant. And then we've also got the special edition Ninjago Legacy magazine, which has got a special, really nice blister pack, double pack with Sensei Wu and Skulkin. So yeah, really nice stuff. Look and see what you get next time, all important. So in December we get Kai vs Lasher. In November you get Digi vs uh, Bleh. In November you get Digi vs J. Also in November for the City Magazine you get someone called Duke Detain. And with the Hidden Side you get someone called El Fuego. Okay, so first up guys, we've got JB from the Hidden Side Magazine. This figure is absolutely awesome. So yeah, I love these Lego magazines and how they allow you to get these really awesome minifigures without needing to buy large expensive sets. So it's a really great way to access minifigures that you might miss or that you don't dig the set so much for. So that's really cool. Uh, this minifigure is brilliant. It comes with some really nice elements including this, um, I don't know what you'd call it, the azure blue uh, sort of cone holder thing. Uh, it's also got this printed phone element, which is great, and then the unique torso, legs, uh, hair, and head, and it's all just really cool. Um, absolutely love the lilac on the hair piece. She looks really unique, really different, and really cool. Yeah, I'm a big fan of that figure. So the other figure I wanted to highlight from this pack is this, well I suppose it's a, it's a build really isn't it, it's the minifigure and bike from the City magazine. So the minifigure is pretty cool, I'm not sure where that top is from, is it from a minifigure series? I'm not certain, but it's just a, a nice fairly plain minifigure with a nice bit of scuffing, oh that, I don't think that visor's on properly is it? Oh no, it's just a little bit loose. Um, with a little bit of scuffing on the head, which looks nice. And I'm not sure what colour his helmet or bike is. It's like a dark brown orangey colour, isn't it? But anyway, the bike is absolutely wicked. Um, this is one of the newer bike moulds from LEGO, which I really like. It, gives, it has a few more studs, I think, than the previous one. A bit more compact, and it allows for a bit more customisation. So as you can see, underneath the sort of shell, it's got these grill elements. And it just... It's really nice and it looks really good too. So I'm quite a big fan of this. So thanks for tuning in to another magazine roundup. If there's any more of these figures you want me to look at in more detail, please let me know in the comments below. Happy to do more videos featuring this stuff. And just let me know what you like, guys. So I'll see you next time. Cheers. Rip it first.